Well, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to my little breakdown on uh, one of my favorite guitar tunings uh, that I use a lot, which is uh, what I call the weird C tuning. Now, I gotta say from the beginning, uh, this is a little misleading because in, in technical terms, this tuning actually is an F major nine chord. Now, that's gonna be the most technical thing that I say uh, in the duration of this video. So if you want a more thorough uh, description uh, and just breakdown, I would just say, maybe DM me and I can kind of maybe send you some more info uh, on it. But I really want this to be surface level. Uh, this is a great tuning that I really enjoy using. So let's go right to it. So uh, I'm first going to just play the notes of the tuning. F, A, C, G, C, E. Now you can already hear just the kind of like how resonant that is a cool sound if you play all the harmonics on the 12th fret that's cool you could you could be done there and you'd be like whoa that's totally worth it uh, but I want to just go in for a moment and talk about maybe how I use the tuning and why um, I think it's so good first I'm going to just describe uh, what the options are with the open strings so in a key when we're talking about being in a key in music really what we're saying is we've taken seven notes uh, from a scale and we've given each one of those notes a chord and so in doing so uh, we're going to end up with an opportunity to create music based on those chords and melodies that use the notes in that scale. Now let me just play uh, the strings 4, 3, 2, and 1. That by itself is a C major chord or the 1. We're going to call that the 1. If I instead start from the 5th string this is going to be an A minor 7 chord or our 6 chord in the key. Now for the next move I'm going to miss the 5th string and I'm just going to play 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. So all together that's going to be my 4 chord or my F major chord. So I have 1, 6, 4. And that's a zillion songs already. <laughs> so just in that alone I've got uh, open chords. Now I want to go a little bit further and talk about maybe some of the chord shapes that I would use uh, in the tuning. And I'm going to encourage you to do this with any of the open tunings that you use, but specifically we're going to start really just with, uh, with this one. So I'd like for you to start with the open fourth string. This is now C, but we're really just going to think of this as our fourth string. And we're going to play the scale up the neck. Okay, so that's our scale. Now what's really cool about this tuning, and this is probably my favorite part, I'm going to lean into this for a moment, is that we have two C notes. So that means that all the notes I played here, I can play here on the second string. And as you can see with the finger picking, I'm picking both of those notes. That's really cool. It's like a really cool technique to be able to do that. Uh, all right, let's go to the next part that I think may be uh, really helpful to think through. When you're strumming chords, I'm gonna go to, to using a pick for a moment just to talk about how I'm gonna voice some of these chords. When I'm playing the one chord, I don't just do this. That's a little hard to, to pull off. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the C note here and just double it. So what I'm doing is just playing the third fret of the fifth string and I'm gonna strum from five down, and that's gonna be my one chord or my C chord. You're gonna, uh, before I wrap up, I'm gonna talk about why I keep saying this is the one. That's probably like the most important uh, thing about the, the chords that we're gonna come back around to. So, okay, so this is the one. If I wanna play the six, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play only the fourth fret of the fourth string. And now I'm, I, I'm basically, again, I could just do this. I think that sounds a little strange, but I kind of like this. And what I'm doing is just going from one to four really easily. Now this is probably the one finger, the last one finger move that we're gonna do where now I'm gonna shift down and I'm gonna play the third fret again, except I'm gonna, I'm gonna not start here, I'm gonna start with the, with the sixth string. And I get this big, beautiful F chord. So there again is one, C, A minor, six, four, F. Like, holy cow, that's so easy. And it sounds so good, right? It's really just, it's so simple to use. Okay, let's move right along. We need a five chord, the maybe the most 
other most common chord in uh, most music is going to be the five chord. In this case, it's going to be a G, but we can't play our regular G chord because those, the tuning's different. It's going to sound bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go F, F sharp, G in the bass, and then I'm just going to double on the second fret of both the fourth string and the second string. I'm just going to double those two notes, and I'm going to get that chord right there. All right, so I've got this, again, the second fret, second fret, second fret. Okay. I know we're zooming, but I really just, I just want to try to get as much into this as we can. So one C, six A minor, four F, five G. Okay. So all together it would sound like this. Okay, now is there more that you can do with it? 100%. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is really just maybe talk for a second about what I would call the rule of four. Now if you're, if you're still watching, congrats to you, you're about six and a half minutes into this TikTok. Uh, if you're still watching, the rule of four is maybe the most uh, helpful way that I've, I've started to, uh, to use the tuning and improvising. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna think in the context of C and we're gonna put all the notes that we can put up to the fourth fret on each string. So let me demonstrate. Um, if I start with the low F, I can go up a whole step to G, up a whole step to A. All right, so that's gonna be open to four. On the next string, I can go open to three. Can't play the fourth fret. I could play the fifth fret, but again, I'm going rule of four. I wanna stay within four frets. So, so far, On the next string, it's going to be open to four. On the next string, it's going to be open to four. On the next string, it's going to be, you guessed it, open to four. And on the next one, it's going to be open one, three. So the reason I'm doing that is I want to develop a good feel. For in this position, how I can begin to add melody notes. So just play, practice this. This is a great exercise. This is called pedaling. I'm going to hit the low F, just let it ring, and just practice going through all those notes we just played. And all of a sudden, you're going to get opportunities to create really cool melodies. So, I'm just going to end by just playing for a bit so that maybe you can get some ideas of how to use this tuning for yourself. I hope that's helpful. I hope you'll experiment with the tuning. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, I know this is a long one, so if you, if you still have more questions, if it would be helpful to see anything else, please uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, briefly, just so that I, I don't forget, because I know I said, this, I said I would say this at the end, and if you're still watching, wow, you made it <laughs> all the way to the end. Um, the, the way that we're gonna use the capo to, to transpose this tuning is, again, to think about this as the one. So if you've got a clip-on tuner, uh, go ahead and put it on the neck, and let's say if you needed to play a song in the key of E, what you would do is you would take this note, C, up to E. And then you're gonna put the capo on, and now you're in the key of E. All right, and that's how you're gonna transpose and move it around. Let me know uh, down in the comments, I suppose, if you have any other questions, if there's something I can do to make it make a little more sense. Thank you guys for watching.